Hello students, I welcome you all in this session of Quick Solutions of All India Akash Test Series for JE Mains 2021, test number 3, code CND, subject physics, test dated on 15th of December 2019. Let's start with question number 1. Here in question number 1, two blocks A and B of masses 30 kg and 20 kg are approaching towards each other at right angles with velocities 1 meter per second and 2 meter per second respectively on a smooth surface. They collide and stick together. The loss of kinetic energy is. We need to find what exactly will be the loss of kinetic energy. We shall proceed with the calculation of uh, the kinetic energy first. It was 1 by 2 m into v1 square and 1 by 2 the other mass m2 into v2 square. So I would say kinetic energy initially it is 1 by 2 m is 30 into 1 square and 1 by 2 it is 20 into 2 square so it is coming out to be 15 and plus this is 20 into 4 divide by 2 so it will be 40 so it is 55 Joule. This is the initial energy. Now, after the collision, they stick together. So, we need to find the velocity of center of mass here with which both of the masses will be moving together. So, I would say velocity of center of mass will be m1 v1. m1 is 30. One mass is moving with the 1 meter per second in one particular direction. Let's say it is the x direction. So, I would say it is 1 into i and plus it is 20. Here it is. 2j divide by total mass being how much 50 so this one is coming out to be 30i plus 40j that means 30i plus 40j divide by 50 so effectively this portion 30i plus 40j is having the magnitude of 50 itself so it is 1 meter per second is the velocity of center of mass now the final kinetic energy will be it is 1 by 2 mass being 50 and velocity being how much 1 so it is coming out to be 25 joule so now the loss of kinetic energy I would say it is 55 minus 25 so this one is 30 joule so looking into the options here we are getting option 4 as the correct answer for question number 1 now let's proceed to the next question that is question number here in question number 2, a running man A has the same kinetic energy as that of a boy B of half his mass. The man A speeds up by 2 meter per second and the boy changes his speed by x so that kinetic energies of A and B are equal again. The value of x is. We are here provided with the two different situations. In first case, let's say the man is having the mass m. So I would say 1 by 2 m into v square that is the velocity of the man it is given as 1 by 2 mass of boy being half let's say its velocity being v1 square so here I would say this one will cancel out and v1 is actually coming out to be root 2 v in the next case the man speeds up by 2 that means 1 by 2 m it is v plus 2 whole square is yet again m by 2 the boy speeds up by how much x meter per second so it is v1 plus x whole square yet again these two forces will cancel out and we are having v1 plus x is equal to root 2 v plus 2 solving this equation now we are having v1 we have already found the value of v1 to be equal to root 2 v so i would place it root 2 v plus x would be equal to root 2 v plus 2 root 2 this one will cancel out and I'm getting the value of x to be equal to 2 root 2 so that's the answer for question number 2 option 2 is the correct answer now we shall proceed to the next question that is question number 3 in question number 3 in the arrangement the pulley can be considered at a disc of mass 4 m and radius r if the block is released from rest find its speed at time t well we shall proceed with the calculation of the acceleration of this mass or we may say the angular acceleration of the disc. 
once we find that value we can certainly be able to find the speed at any time t so well i would say the torque because of this mass it will be mg into r and the total moment of inertia about this axis it can be taken as m r square this is having how much 4m 4m r square divide by 2 and this one is m r square into alpha solving this equation i'll be getting mg r would be equal to this is 2 m r square plus m r square is coming out to be 3 m r square alpha or alpha to be equal to g divide by 3 r okay so the acceleration of this mass along this direction i would say a will be equal to alpha into r it will be g by 3 now it is starting with zero velocity initially so the velocity at any time t would be taken as a into t a we already have found this value to be g by 3 so it will come out to be g by 3 into t this is our final answer for the speed at time t so for question number 3 we are getting option 2 as the correct answer now we shall proceed to the question number 4 in question number 4 here the moment of inertia of a rectangular plate of mass capital M and side length 2L and L about an axis passing through one of its diagonal is uh, we are using one very particular and standard answer for the moment of inertia of a triangular block if this being the base and this is height H then we say the moment of inertia to be how much it happens to be M H square divided by 6 using the same argument now I would say I am just drawing a perpendicular line here and a perpendicular line here. Uh, this angle for this particular triangle I would say this is L, this is 2L, this being theta. So definitely this one will be how much? It will be L root 5. So sine theta and cos theta value can be evaluated from this triangle. Uh, this portion being 2L. So this angle I am saying it to be theta. So this will be how much? 2L sine theta. So this h here, h will be 2L into sine of theta or h is coming out to be 2L. Sine theta here will be how much? 1 divided by root 5. So it is, this is the value of h here. So uh, mass of this complete rectangular part being m, so this one will have m by 2 and this one will have m by 2. So I would say the moment of inertia about this diagonal, it will be m by 2 divided by 1 by 6 into h square. This part is 4 l square divided by 5 and we are having two such triangular parts. So this is the moment of inertia for the combined system. This one will cancel out and here this is 2 and this is 3. It is coming out to be 2 m l square divided by 15. We are getting option 3 as the correct answer for question number 4. Now we shall proceed to question number 5. Here in question number 5, 3 balls A, B and C are of masses m, 2 m and 3 m respectively and are placed on a smooth horizontal surface in a line as shown. Ball A is given a velocity V0 towards B. If all the collisions are elastic, then velocity of a sphere C after collision will be. We need to find how much the velocity the ball B shall have after collision and then after what will be the final velocity of C after further collision with B. So, we will be using a very particular standard answer in this part also. It is moving with velocity V0 and this one is having the zero velocity. Then after first collision, in fact, in elastic collision system, I would say the velocity of B, it would be 2 MA divided by MA MB into V0. Okay, so what will be the velocity of ball B after collision with A? I would say the velocity of B, it is 2 MA being given as M here and MA plus MB, this one is how much? 3M into V0. So VB is coming out to be 2V0 by 3. 
now in the similar fashion in the next stage once now b will collide with c so i would say this time vc will be taken as 2 into m of b here it is m of b m of c into velocity of b this time how much it is it is 2v0 by 3 so i would say it is 2v0 by 3 so 2 mb being 2m this one is 5m into 2v0 by 3 so this one will cancel out and vc is coming out to be 8v0 by 15 so clearly we are getting option 2 as the correct answer for question number 5 now we shall proceed to next question that is question number 6